Life-saving affordable options for cardiovascular care remain the KHMH's priority. What we are focused on is building a system of healthcare delivery and safety so that Belizeans don't have to be running all around the place to get a piece of this in this and that corner, that uh, a piece of that in that corner, where in the end you have Carl Huesner, you can get comprehensive care. That care for people needing major life-saving heart surgeries or simpler things like a pacemaker or a catheter, the good news is that those services are now being provided at the nation's flagship health facility. The KHMH has now upgraded its cardiac cat lab. The hospital's acting director of medical services, Dr. Adrian Coy, said today that for those who need these vital services, there is no need for expensive trips and treatment abroad. They can do it right here for a fraction of the cost. It's highly subsidized. Again, um, it may be four thousand, five thousand, some as much as eight thousand dollars that they pay, but that's. That's sometimes something you just pay for a night in one of our private hospitals um, for gastroenteritis and a few other things. Like the previous lab, which was a mobile facility outside the hospital's main building, this welcome upgrade comes through a partnership with the North Carolina-based Heinemann Robichek Foundation, a partnership which was born out of the friendship between Dr. Robichek and the late Sir Barry Bowen. But more than just new, sophisticated equipment, Doctors from abroad are here in Belize to give local doctors a chance to see how the stuff works and how they can help people. Dr. Glenn Kowalchuk is one of the visiting doctors. It's very rewarding to be able to take a skill that you've learned over the years and to be able to train other people to do that. So I think it's a very exciting thing for the hospital. I think it's a very exciting thing for the country. This is an incredible therapeutic option for patients. In the past, they'd have to leave Belize. They'd have to go to Guatemala, to Mexico, the United States to have procedures done. Everyone wants to stay close to home to be treated. They're around their family, they're around their friends, they're around their support structure. And this allows them to be treated someplace closer to their home. Dr. Jeff Lin is a Belizean cardiologist and he has been soaking in all the information, which he says will equip him to better help Belizeans. Cardiology is unlimited, unlimited knowledge with the, Dr. Kowalchuk. He's very good, he's very good at what he's doing, very fast. I learn a lot of all the techniques, the different, the different things that, that I never seen before. These are more coronary angiograms. I've seen them before, but never actually have it in hand, do them. Um, but it's a very good experience to be able to, to shadow that these two days. Right now, all we are doing is just pure diagnostic, non-invasive imaging to actually treat the patient medical-wise. But there are some patients that the medication just won't work and they need a more invasive study and more invasive treatment. So definitely this will be a plus to be able to, to diagnose and treat the patient with coronary diseases, put a stent in, and also to be able to select candidate for surgical procedures in the future. And not only does this upgrade help those who are already battling heart-related problems, but to intervene in those who are at risk for heart disease earlier, as the hospital CEO Chandra Nisbet Cancino explains. For us, the patient comes first, and this will be able to give us the opportunity to provide so much more for the patients, especially those, of course, with, with cardiac disease. And as I mentioned um, previously in another interview, we tend to isolate cardiac disease as just cardiac disease, but if you are uh, uh, someone that has diabetes or high blood pressure, you are also at risk for heart disease. And so it's, it's really a large uh, percentage of our population who are at risk. So we now have the opportunity to do early intervention, early diagnosis and better treatment. Indeed, a major step for the KHMH, but perhaps a giant step for Belizean kind. For Love News, I'm Dale McDougall.